All right, last question. Um, Seamus is a basin in the shape of an inverted right circular cone with the lowest part removed as shown in the diagram on the right below. The radius of the original cone is 15 centimeters and the slant is 10. Okay, okay, okay. Show that BE is 40. Show that B E B oh B E that let me do the diagram. B E um okay. So let's see what can we do here. We know that that's ten. Okay, um, and do we know, what else do we know? We know that that's 15, okay. And uh, we know that that's 12, okay. So, bum, 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 bum. I draw a little triangle here. That's three. So it means that from Pythagoras, AD height will be root 10 squared minus three squared. Which is root 91. Right, because if that's 12 and that's 15, then that means that piece is 13. We're told that's 10. Uh, that's three, I mean. Uh, so root 91. Okay, so, so we know that this is root 91. Um, does that help me, though? Oh, I know. If we keep moving down in the same increments, so move move down again and, and move another 10 here um so that 15 that becomes 12 it's aromatic so we lose three again so that becomes nine and then six and then three so we have one two three four more to go and we said earlier, I said this is root 91. So for root 91. Oh, but it's not that we want. It's this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we don't want the height. So this is 10, 10, 10, and 10. So the height A to B is that. Um, A, D is that. And then BE is 40. It's 4 times 10. Yeah, we got an aromatic progression going on. Uh, okay, find the total internal surface area. Find the total internal surface area of the basin. Now, does it have a top, though? I think not, since it's a basin. Shaman has a basin in the shape of an inverted right circular cone with a lower part removed. As shown in the diagram on the right below. So we want the total internal surface area of the basin. So that's this guy here. Might be the best way to do this. Uh, um, we'll go to our formula book for the cone. So the area is pi or L, but that's not including the, the circle. So pi or L, the slank length. So I'd have to go with pi, the big one, 
15 times the, the 40 minus pi and then for the smaller one or which is 12 times um, 40 and now that first one wasn't 40 be careful that was 50 <laughs> 15 times 50 minus 12 times 40 times pi. So what do we want it to? One decimal place. So that's 8.2 centimeters squared. Okay. Oh. But. I'd have to include the circle at the bottom, wouldn't I? Plus, plus a pi r squared. This guy, 12 squared. So let me calculate that again. So that would be instead 1300.6 squared. Yes, now I think I'm okay. Draw a diagram of the net of the curved surface of the basin. Show your workings out. Uh, okay, so like the net, if the cone is like this, And um, this is the big circumference. So that's two pi and the radius, the big radius is 15. So that's 30 pi. And then this one here is the smaller one. So that's 24 pi. And this length here is the 10 and this length here is the 40. And uh, do we need the angle as well? Uh, we can use the formula L equals or theta. So theta is L over R in radians. So that's 24 pi divided by 40. So that's 3 over 5 pi. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm putting some dotted lines since we're not really including that. Uh, right. Seamus needs to... Oh, this is totally unrelated then, huh? Yeah, totally unrelated. Fine. All right. Seamus needs to pick a new pin code. It must be a four digit code. It must use exactly four of the digits from one to nine. No digit can be used more than once. One, two, three, four. He has nine choices for the first digit, eight for the seven, seven, and then six. So that is 3024. Work out how many of these codes contains the digit two. Well, how many would not contain the digit two? So you have a choice of eight for the first one because you have one to nine except for two then you have seven for the second one again one to nine except for two and except for the previous choice and then six and five so that's one six eight oh so if i take that away that means you're left with one three four four Hmm. Yep. 
work out how many of the codes in B part one have the sum of their first three digits equal to the fourth digit. The codes can now contain the digit two, although they they do they do not have to. So work out how many of the codes in B part one have their sum of the first three digits equal to the fourth digit. Well, the smallest sum we can make is 234. No, it's not. It's 1 plus 2 plus 3. So we could finish on a 6. And then... Or we could, we could finish on, we could have, see this could be one, two, three, but rearranged. Okay, I'm going to have to write out the possibilities here. So we could go one, two, three, six, but with these rearranged. Now, what about if I just have three different numbers then? So like one, two, four. So there's seven there. And these could be rearranged. One, two, five. That's eight. And again, could be rearranged. So there's like six ways of, of rewriting these. And then nine would be one, two, six rearranged. So there's six ways here, six here six here and six here but are there any other numbers i could get so i think there's 24 possibilities starting with one two three six and then finishing on the last permutation of this which is uh six Two, one, nine. But I could also exclude one and have two, three, and four, uh, and, and a nine after that, and that's another six here. So actually, I can go a bit further. I can go from, so it's not 24. So you have 30, I think, and I start off with 1, 2, 3, 6, and I finish on 4, 3, 2, 9. What if I delete the 2 and have 1, 3, 4? That works as well, actually. Okay, so I have more. Let's clear this off and write them all out. Okay, I have one, two, three, and six. And then I could have one, two, four, and seven. One, two, five, and eight. One, two, six, and nine. And then I could have two, three, four, and nine. And then I could have one, three, four, Eight. One, three, five, nine. Mm. Okay. And each of these, there's six possibilities. Um, what about eliminating one and two? So just having three, four, and five. No. I have to have a 1 and I have to have a 2. I can't do it with just a 3. It's too big. So I have to have a 1 and a 2. So the question is what do I have with the 1 and a 2? So these are the ones with a 1 and I could have 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 4, 3, 5. And this is the only one I can do with a 2. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
6 times 7, 42? Have to have a 1, have to have a 2. So I could, I could have 1 plus 3 numbers and 2 plus 3 numbers. But I don't want to include the 2 where I had the 1. So, yeah, I think this is right, 42. It's a very hard question to finish the exam on. Maybe there's a better way to think about it.